Yo dog, Katie Boucher here, next level painting. Hitting you up with another painting tutorial on the literal best of all days, Friday. I'm very excited. It's been a long time since I left you. Shouldn't have left you without a dope beat to step to. AKA the Long War Kickstarter is having a very successful first week. So obviously all my veterans out there are seeing this right now in the Hall of Veterans and you guys know first. By the time this makes it to regular YouTube, it'll be two weeks. Um, thank you. We smashed expectations. Within an hour and a half, we met our initial goal. 2,500 bucks. Um, that goal, let me talk about that for a quick second. Like, the goal was really, um, the minimum. Like, it's like, if we can raise 200 and, you know, $2,500, that means, um, we can get the swag items, because like I said, we're not a manufacturing company. We source everything third party. We find the best people out there to fulfill these orders, and we operate a little bit worse than a retail margin. We knew that the money we would have left over after generating that sale would be enough to buy um, at least one piece of equipment that we like a camera. But we obviously know that the veterans out there are very generous and they've been waiting for this. So we knew kind of that we would smash that. We just didn't know we would smash it in one hour in 30 minutes at midnight. So thank you guys. You are the best like i can't even tell you how exciting it was for me and rob you know putting our headsets on right after the kickstarter launch uh podcast like i edited the podcast we put it out and we put our headsets on skype call and we were like let's let's see what happens updating new graphics new goals everything it was so exciting i i've never been that amped up and it's all because you guys thank you we're going to use this money responsibly we have plans for literally every cent of this money bringing it all back so just you know quick thank you on the kickstarter front obviously this is my weekly video this is my tutorial today we're gonna do something a little different um we're gonna jump into some basing again um this might not be the most detailed tip tutorial i've done but i am gonna do some product um assessments here uh, i'm gonna i'm gonna talk about some reviews uh I'm going to use a new brand I've never used before for autumn leaves and we're going to go back to those bases from the Tierna videos we did uh, a couple weeks ago and I'm going to show you uh, MIG, this uh, brand of uh, painting uh, supplies that is, a f it's on a different level of detail. I've never used autumn leaves like this. This is, it's amazing. So you'll see here in this video, like I said, apologize in advance, it's not the most in-depth video. I will hit you guys up immediately though. Uh, with another airbrushing uh, video on some of the basic uh, uses of the airbrush. Seems like people responded well to that. So I'm going to show you guys in another video like how I use the airbrush. We've been a lot really busy. Um, a lot of things happened. We're moving a lot of our archive over to Vimeo right now. Uh, so that's taking up some time. Obviously, we're going to Warzone Atlanta. Boom! This weekend. And for you guys on YouTube, it was last week. Uh, yeah, literally, if you're a backer, uh, Kickstarter backer, or soon to be Kickstarter backer, B at Wars on Atlanta this weekend, this Saturday at 9 p.m. in the main convention hall in Atlanta at this event. We're going to be doing a Long War meet and greet. I want to shake all your hands. Also got a box of buttons laying around here somewhere. Long War buttons. We're passing them out for free, man. Thank you guys for all your support. It's a lot of promoting. As usual, check out the longwar.net. It is the official home of all the battle reports and early access to all of our videos like this one you're seeing right now. And of course, my personal crowdfunding page, Patreon. That's how I personally bring Hoppy back as an artist. Just want to thank you guys one last time. I'm still riding high off of the emotions of this Kickstarter. We got three weeks to go. Anyway, without further ado, let's jump right into this. Let's look at Autumn Leaves. Let's do this thing. An Autumn Leaf themed review and tutorial. So what I did here was I received three different styles of leaves from a game manufacturer called MIG. Now, I was able to purchase these leaves from Kings Hobbies and Games, an official sponsor of the Longboard.net. Check them out. You can get a promo code on the Longboard.net. Anyway, let's jump right into this. What I did was I just kind of mixed those three styles of leaves together in the one container because I'm not a scientist, so I just put them all in there. I ain't trying to play games. What you'll notice immediately about these leaves um, is that they are crisp, much smaller, and more accurately sized. But they are, I mean, they look exactly like leaves. It's insane how detailed they are. So obviously take your tweezers, take your PVA glue. I use Umber's glue. Put a dab of glue on the base after you've already painted the base. And I just kind of manipulate the leaves into an area. I try to keep them from being so mounted on top of each other. 
And obviously, you know, knock the excess back into the container because you don't want to just waste leaves. Um, I'll even grab them off the table, as you can see there, like they are too good to waste. But you see, they're so detailed that I don't want to mound them all up like I typically do with other brands. I'm, I like to flatten them out so you can see the shapes of the leaves. I mean, I can't, they look like little tiny leaves. They're crazy. Um, so, like I said, I, I use all of them in one just because I'm like, eh, you know, I'm not going to try to try to do this process four or five times. I, I, you know, I don't know anything about forests, but I've seen leaves like this before. The scale, they look really small, like I said. Um, at first I thought that was a negative, but then I realized they look really accurate. Like current brands of leaves I've been using, like, yeah, you know, the leaf is the size of a space marine's foot. <laughs> That's the biggest tree on earth. You know, so these are just so much more accurate. The scale is just so much better. And what I like to do is I like to find little spots that the leaves, uh, to generate interest with the leaves. I look at the model, how I'm going to look at it, you know, observe it. Um, also, we're going to use Gamer's Grass, also officially distributed by King's Hobbies and Games. Another great brand. This is probably one of the best, if not the best, brands of Tufts of Grass. Now, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to take this grass tuft and I'm going to slice it in half. So I can make it the shape, kind of the size I want. I want it to be a little smaller, but let's see how easily that was done. And now I got twice as many grasses for these smaller uh, bases. So I'm gonna find a little spot in there in the cut, kind of deep inside the model. You know, grass is working its way up between the rocks, etc. You know, that's what grass do. I'm not a scientist, like I said. I see grass growing out of things I don't even understand. So this is an urban base. Um, you know, some kind of some dead grass here. I'm using like, you know, the grass is dying, winter is coming, that's why we're doing the fall leaves and the and this color grass and these ruins. Trying to create that change of seasons. Kind of also match the color of these tendons that we're going with an autumn, an autumn theme on. So like I said, the trick here is to try to be subtle, break up the model, but don't also, you know, don't overkill. Don't like just cover up all that resin uh, with all this flocking. Use it to accent the base, you know. Sometimes less is more. There's a time and place for going overboard, but I, I try to really let the resin base be accented by these amazingly realistic game add-ons that I'm getting from Hobbies, King's Hobbies and Games. MIG and Gamer's Grass. I'm telling you, man, this is some good shit. <laughs> and I do a lot of bases because I paint a lot of armies. So now you can see we have kind of that mysterious, you can see the leaves, the, you have to kind of look into the base. We've also, um, you'll notice, sprayed some of the gray up on the tentacles in the bottoms of these mucolids. That's because I want like the dust of the rubble, the dust of the city, to be on them. You know, it's like like they're maneuvering around in there. Just try, you know, just a little accent. And here's the big bases for those giant tyrannicides or the, the whatever this tear to drop pot is. These are the I can I couldn't find these bases in resin. Uh, not on short notice, so I used Vallejo uh, putty and good old-fashioned sand flock. Flock these bases, dry brushed them, and now I'm just using two different colors of gamer's grass and the leaves. Just wanted to show you that because we did a whole tutorial on those. So definitely, like I said, this is a really quick tutorial. Very simple product review. These these leaves are amazing, as you can see. They're some of the most high-detail leaves I've ever done. You know, maybe go back, take a look at the Tranicide tutorial, to go back, look at the Mucolo tutorial. And I even just did a basing tutorial, how to do these bases with a lot more detail. I just promised I would show you guys the leaves before I was done. As usual, thank you for checking out this video. Finally, the Long War Kickstarter is here. We are trying to raise money to improve all elements of our videos. Cameras, microphones, lighting, and even editing software. We're more than just a company dedicated to bringing hobby back, we're a community. Whether you enjoy all of our content for free here on YouTube, or you're a member of the fast growing Hall of Veterans, and you enjoy early exclusive access, we're part of the same community. It's not all business though. All the Long War swag that you guys have been waiting for is available on the Kickstarter. Please stop by, check out our Kickstarter, and thank you for the support. Deleted scenes, bonus content, and all the interviews and post-game wrap-up videos can be located in the Hall of Veterans on thelongwar.net. Visit thelongwar.net today and try a week completely free with no strings attached. That's not all. Thelongwar.net is also your hobby resource for exclusive early access with an ad-free experience to all your favorite videos. Members of the Hall of Veterans gain early exclusive access to multiple hobby videos.